What's going on, everybody? It's the Creative Fro, checking back in for the second episode of iMovie Monday. And today, I want to cover how you can add text inside of iMovie. So the first thing we're going to need to do is head over to our Titles tab. So now the next thing we're going to have to do is add one of these titles into the timeline at the bottom here. So if you want to add text on top of a clip, all you have to do is take the text and drag it above. If you need text before the start of your video, what you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that your playhead is at the beginning of the first clip. That way when you come up here to your text and press W, it will go in front of the first clip and then it will lead into your next clip. Or the opposite, if you want it at the end of the video, all you have to do is press E. As you can see, the title has now been imported at the end of the timeline. You don't have to use those keyboard shortcuts if you wanna just drag them in front. You can do the same thing for either the start or the end. So for today's example, I'll just drag this text on top of this video clip here. You're going to want to place your mouse at the end so you can see these two arrows. And now you can click and drag to change the duration. And as you can see, as I'm dragging, the time is changing on the top. So drag it to wherever you want, but I'll just leave it at four for today. Another way you can change the duration of a text is go up to the clip information here. And now you can see at the right, we can change the duration to whatever we want and it will make the same changes as we did when we were dragging it. Now, in order to make adjustments on this text, you're gonna to wanna to head up to the text settings tab. We can change the font to any single font we have in here, and we can even change the size of the, and we can even change the size by this little box here. And to change our text, so it's not just the generic title here, what you're gonna to wanna to do is click inside of the box, and now you can see the text has changed to yellow, and that will allow us to delete what's in here and put our own. All right, so now we have added our own custom text. What you wanna do here is just type in the font size you want. So let's say we want it at size 80. We wanna type that in and press enter. Now you can see it has gotten smaller. If you want a larger text than that, just type in a larger number. So we'll go back up to our box here, make sure you've selected that number and hit delete. Let's type in 200 now, and there you go. So that's one way you can go about changing the size of the text. Now, if you want to change the adjustment of your text, you can go right here and either put it to the left, have it to the right, have no alignment, or leave it in the center. Moving along, you can change if you want the font to be bold. So if you don't want it bold, unselect it. If you would like it bold, select it again. You can make the text italic. So if we just click that, you can see it's out of that effect. And if you need an outline for your text, just hit this button beside here for outline, and that's the O. Now you can see the text has a black outline. And now the last option we have here is the color of the text. So you can select this box, and now you can choose what color you want the text to be. There's a bunch of different options you can go through to change the color of it. I find it easiest to use the color palettes here because it just tells you what the exact color is, or like using this color wheel. And with this, you can just choose the color you want the text to be by changing your target point. So if you like it, you can just hit X. So once you found the color you like, just close that down and now you're left with a new color text. Let's say you wanna refresh your text and start from scratch. What you can just do is hit reset and now you have the blank title and now you can redo your text. And when you're done making all changes to your text and you're happy with how it looks, you can just come up here to the check mark and apply the settings and now the text toolbox is gone. Now the only unfortunate thing inside iMovie is you can't take this text here and manually move it around. So if you needed it in the lower thirds area or the upper area, you're gonna have to choose from the titles library. So you can see there's lower thirds here, lower thirds to the right. You have upper left text, another lower text too as well. So if you want it to be at a certain spot on the screen, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you choose one of the other options of titles. If anything changes in a later update of iMovie, I'll make sure to make another video and show you how you can move that text. But that's all I have for everyone today. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. If you'd like to see anything specific about iMovie, let me know in the comments down below. Join me next Monday where I'll talk about color correction inside iMovie. It's the Creative Fro, and I'm out.